May the 28th, the day before Brexit, or not, as it's going to be. Um, yeah, just a very, very quick one for Harry and Alfie. I noticed, um, like, I don't mind other people tuning into these, but they are for Harry and Alfie. Um, so that in the future, they can look back and um, and, have a, and see what the grand has got to say. Because there's communication problems between me and Harry at the minute. Not so much me and Harry, because he's great. But his, uh, his parents have decided for one reason or another that um, I don't see him. So that's it. So this is for uh, for them to look back on. Anything could happen to me. I travel all over the country. I get involved in lots of different things on busy roads. Anything could happen to me. And I'd like to leave a video, um, diary, library, whatever. Yeah, you're right. I could leave these anywhere. I don't have to leave them on YouTube. But YouTube's going to be around and it's accessible. I mean, I've got a will. Um, and it's in my drawer downstairs. I'm just putting that out there right now. Um, but if anything happens, who do you trust to, to sort it all out for you? So this is on the internet, isn't it? And there's enough people know it's there. But I noticed somebody did a thumbs down for one of them. Who are you to put a thumbs down for something I'm saying? It's nothing to do with you. I don't care if you like it or not. So uh, keep thumbing them down. Who gives a... F I, God, I can't swear because I don't know how old Harry and Alfie will be when they listen to this. Anyway, um, where were we? Oh, yeah. So it is May the 28th. The lunatics have officially taken over the asylum. And the time is about 4pm on the 28th of May 2019. And uh, there is a deal that's been trying to push through by Theresa May, who's the current Prime Minister. Um, everybody said it was a bad deal. It got the worst votes ever in the history of the House of Commons. Everybody on every side said it's a bad deal. But now she's offering to resign. And if she resigns... Um, she'll do it on the basis that people will vote for it to put it through. So now people are considering whether they're going to vote for it. We've had people lecturing to us that it's a bad deal, but now they're saying, but we'll vote for it if it gets rid of her. <sighs> Why would you ever vote for a bad deal? And all this that we're going to go to, to the end with no deal. There is always a deal. Always a deal. The, tra the, tr the TWO rules, you know, that is a deal. But we'll sort it out. I was reading and uh, watching a documentary recently with John Cleese, one of our favourite comedy actors, very serious as well, really knows his stuff. And there was a professor in America who studied all these pundits, political pundits, pundits, people who are predicting what's going to happen. And, you know, when they calculated all the, um, all the predictions and put it all together, do you know what the outcome was? It was nothing better than chance. In other words, I could say, right, OK, next year the pound will drop. There's as much of that happening as anybody else. So they're just guessing. Everything's a guess and it's just all in the air. Nobody knows anything, but people are getting paid a lot of money to be to pretend that they actually know what they're talking about. I'm surrounded by people who make out they know what they're talking about and they just don't. So Harry, Alfie, when you get older, or even if you are older now, I don't know where you are listening to this, do not get put off by these people who may have public public school um, education, speak well, wear a suit, look nice, may look you in the eye, and people who nod while they're talking to you as well. Don't ever get drawn in by that. It's NLP. If you don't know what NLP is, Google it or whatever the internet browser is of the future. It's all about mind control. So I just look people straight in the eyes and I just look straight into them and I go, you are bullshitting. Stick to what you believe. We are surrounded by idiots. The lunatics have taken over the asylum. Everybody's going, oh, yeah, but it's about jobs, it's about jobs, it's about jobs. What, there's going to be no jobs? Is that it? At the end of Brexit, nobody's going to have a job. Insane. Absolutely insane. Until the next one, four minutes. Bye.